The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. And welcome all to another excellent edition of the Power Trading Hour. As we uh, start off the show, we're up 41 points on the S&P cash. Dow's up 126. Nasdaq's up uh, 232. Russell's up 7. Uh, we've got crude oil uh, back to around 100 bucks, 153 cents. Uh, we've got uh, gold down 13 at uh, 1844. It's over off 27 cents at 2155. Uh, what else do we have? A 10 year, uh, just a hair under three, uh, 2.97. I think probably the thing that everybody should have been watching today, and I didn't hear a lot about it, uh, was the TLT. Um, it's up a uh, percent. And it was kind of up, uh, what, at a high of almost uh, just a hair under 17, 117. I think everybody uh, was kind of looking at it. it way overshot uh, the market. Um, as I said, uh, on the charts, 118 should have probably held. Uh, I think there was just a lot going on here. Many people speculating, both uh, uh, mental midgets and people that I respect that there was something broken in the market. Um, what we were waiting for was a few things. I want to thank uh, Janet Yellen for giving me an opportunity to go long today uh, by uh, spouting some stuff that I don't think she even believes. But I guess, you know, when you represent other folks, I guess when you're like an attorney and your client killed somebody, you're, you're kind of expected to lie. You may know the truth or suspect you know the truth. But, uh, man, when you're a bad liar, um, I just felt sorry for Janet Yellen to spouting off stuff that was on the surface and down deep, both just ridiculous. But I think there was a little bit of combination of that and people waiting for uh, an additional move in the markets uh, for uh, margin calls. Um, and, you know, that once we kind of made it past that and it looked like probably not going to get any this afternoon, uh, the market's uh, starting to turn. There were a lot of uh, uh, signals that the market was getting ready to turn and it was foreshadowing it. Uh, probably nothing better than the almost four uh, tick on the Amex yesterday for the uh, trend. Uh, and one of the best indicators I've seen for a while, there's a lot of reasons why, but uh, there's not that many stocks that actually trade on the on the Amex. Almost all of it is uh, one big uh, uh, various ETF one way or the other. But with everybody kind of shunning from actually trading stocks and trading sectors, um, it was a to see it at four yesterday or almost four was a pretty good indication that uh, that the uh, people that uh, were ready to throw the baby out with the bathwater were uh, doing that yesterday. Um, options, uh, as I said, have been kind of bullish. Um, I did write, I think, in the newsletter. Was it today or yesterday? Eh, I forget. But uh, we were kind of at the levels uh, that we were kind of far off on what option market makers predicted. Uh, that was kind of the equivalent of the 100-year flood. Uh, now, 100-year floods are supposed to only happen every 100 years. They actually happen a lot more. Statistics isn't that good. It's kind of like uh, betting on a, a giant uh, asteroid hitting the Earth and wiping us all out. Uh, well... We'll all be dead, so we won't be able to write much about it uh, if it does happen. But uh, if things don't happen very often, very hard to handicap. Uh, I had to think uh, just if I would have bet, uh, if I would have bet uh, 
on uh, the uh, eighty to one uh, horse on uh, on Saturday, and I had to think. Uh, it may, you know, I know I've read a lot of books, and I've had people approach me and say, "Hey, will you help me um, become a, a, a bigger trader?" And I always do a couple of things, and people never do it. And then I know that I'm just wasting my time. These folks may become good traders, but there's no way I'll be able to help them. The first is that I assign three or four books for them to read. Um, I can't sing the praises of Fooled by Randomness uh, high enough, although I do not agree everything that's in there. I do agree a great deal with his thought process. Uh, the problems that he has in this book is all about uh, a very broad brush that all traders are the same. Uh, he was trading with $3 billion. Uh, I'm not trading quite with that, just uh, $2.9 billion. But his uh, $3 billion that he had to, to uh, trade with uh, when he made his uh, bones, I guess, uh, is that a mob saying? Uh, he made his bones? Or is that like a general saying? Uh, I do digress. Anyway, uh, when he made his uh, his bones, uh, he was, uh, you know, he had three billion dollars of George Soros's money. First of all, it wasn't his. Uh, but I love the fact that he uh, that he disdained people that was supposed to be all smart, and even back then knew how stupid these folks were. Uh, not only stupid. Uh, but uh, they were stupid about their ignorance about being stupid. Uh, and I brought up the book several times over the last month or so, maybe two months, about Kathy Woods and just how it, it's not a mathematical book, but it is about options. But it is one of those things where he, I mean, I think he wrote the book in 2002 or three. Uh, but Man, you got to go in there when he talks about the three different traders. One who just keeps on doubling down and doubling down in a bull market, and then they all blow up. And the question is, how is that not just what Kathy Wood uh, did? All she did was find the biggest outliers, get more people to invest in it and push it higher. Eventually, when the tide goes out, uh, what does she do? Well, she's not the genius that everybody thought. And that's really the crux of probably the first third of the book as he walks through different traders. Um, he's got a great part of the book that I love um, where he's uh, talking about going into meetings just before he, he, uh, he actually made, I don't know, like $20 billion out of the $3 billion he had uh, by betting on way out of the money uh, puts and calls into the 87 uh, market, uh, late 87. I think that's what it was. Uh, anyway, uh, he keeps being dragged into meetings. And we'll talk more about it when we get back. Uh, are they stupid or are they hate shills? I don't know. I don't think, I think a lot of people make predictions on stuff when they don't see it well, because like they have to. We'll be back in Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of least resistance is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's ultimate trading newsletter for $119 a month and try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. 
Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. As we return, uh, continue my story. We'll get into the rest of it. Uh, just uh, eh. We're going to see a lot of this back and forth, I think. I had a good question uh, in the email. And, yeah, I think we've probably, you know, could we get a retest? We could. I don't think we're going to. But I do think that, uh, that we've got uh, a low in place. And maybe that low is in place. Uh, to the three-day weekend at the end of the month. Uh, so we shall see. And I think that happened uh, not too long ago. Uh, anyway, uh, I always get back to my story from the book because it's always interesting. He'd be dragged down to these meetings uh, before he became a uh, big, uh, uh, big shot on Wall Street by just from reputation. Anyway, Nassim Tlaib uh, gets dragged into these meetings, and they ask him what he thinks. And he says, uh, I think 80% uh, chance the market's going higher. I think it goes maybe 2 3 4% higher. Uh, but there's a 20% chance that it drops 20%. This is, remember, this is before the big crash in 87. And uh, he says, uh, so I'm going to buy some more way out of the money puts. And they go, but you think that 80% chance it's going higher? And he goes, yeah. Yeah, but I think that there's a 20% chance it goes extremely much lower. And I'm going to buy these out-of-the-money uh, puts because uh, guess what? They're improperly priced. If, I, if that actually does happen 80% of the time and 20% of the time, I'm going to make an absolute god-awful amount of money. And... You know, every time they bring it up, but the market's going higher. And he would just buy more puts. And pretty soon they didn't invite him back to any of the meetings where they all were talking about how the, the uh, market was only going to grow to the sky like Jack and the Beanstalk. But, uh, eh, always interesting to see uh, the counter trend guy that doesn't agree with everybody on Wall Street still makes money. Now, there's, that's not the only way to make money. People are good traders. There, You don't always have to trade against the grain of the market. Uh, but uh, what it did uh, really drive home for me uh, is waiting for the big fat pitch and also uh, that your trades better be asymmetric. 
That is, you better have your wall, uh, your back to the wall. You don't have to trade all the time. And uh, you know what? You can uh, you can just uh, you're not somebody on Wall Street that has to have all his money invested. You can wait until that big fastball comes down uh, the plate. And uh, you know what? It's a home run. Bases loaded. Yeah, not a bad thing to be. Anyway, we'll keep an eye on the market. But like I said, I think while well, you might have some back and forth here, I think we're pretty good into uh, at least the end of the week and probably into the 20, uh, 20th for options expiration. Uh, in fact, uh, I was kind of sure that this is all lining up. So uh, I scheduled my vacation uh, yesterday for the uh, uh, 23rd through the, I think it's through the th to, uh, is it 31st? Anyway, I think it's, uh, I come back the day after Memorial Day. So, yeah, I think, uh, I think we're probably going to have a lot of chop, but uh, markets are pretty good at not making people wait. I always love what uh, uh, Warren Buffett says about uh, the market's a mechanism for uh, trading money between those that are patient and those that are impatient. Uh, or impotent, if you get that joke. Uh, so uh, it's not something that I'm going to worry about too much, but I think uh, as many times as I've said that uh, you can be in a bear market and the market can go up for a very long time before the next big move comes down. Uh, but uh, no, there were pretty good signs that it was uh, getting ready to set up. Uh, Janet Yellen had to go out and say some stuff that I don't think she even believed. Although I don't think she's that bright, uh, but uh, you know what? You defending the indefensible. I think a lot of people kind of looked at that and thought, ah, and maybe sold just a little bit more. Maybe it was something else. Maybe it was market gas. Maybe there just wasn't enough Beano or uh, uh, indigestion message uh, uh, medicine for uh, all of it. But uh, at some point, the market will find a low. It will rally. It will rally for a while. It will rally a lot longer than the shorts will have patience. They'll short, they'll short, they'll short. And they'll get blown out and get blown out and get blown out. And really, the only thing I've ever seen that actually says when the next bear market leg starts is when the shorts give up. Because as long as they continue to short, they have to cover. And they tend to give at least half of all the money that they made back in the big move down, trying to uh, catch every high. Uh, there'll be a pretty good signal when we make the next high, I suspect. Uh, but that's it. Now, is it going to be easy? No. Every bounce is going to be shorted. Everybody's going to believe that every time we go higher, the thing to do is going to be short. It's going to be the end of the world. And they'll do that until they give up. And then the next move that will be not the end of the world, but probably a significant move lower unless uh, policies are changed, which uh, if uh, Janet Yellen's testimony this morning was any indication, uh, the ability to uh, uh, to uh, reject reality uh, is still there. Um, so at least for this administration, uh, you just have to wonder about doubling down on being wrong. Uh, at least on the eco uh, e uh, economic side of uh, what's going on, uh, and try something different. But uh, it doesn't sound like we're doing that. But even then, you'll find some lows and you'll find some highs, and we'll do that anyway. Um, independent thinkers, doers, <laughs> let's stone him. He doesn't believe as we do. Okay, uh, well, let's do a little bit of history, uh, and then we will move into questions, uh, which we have piling up at path at tfnn.com. And it's all just a little bit of history repeating. On this day in 1894, the wireless boom is born, and we're not talking 5G or 4G, we're talking about... Mark Coney himself, who sends a radio wave three-quarters of a mile. Three years later, the Mark 
company will successfully communicate ship to shore over a distance of 12 miles, and Marconi's work leads to the commercialization and proliferation of most of radio technology we know today. It was uh, pretty much in the late 19, I think about 1918, uh, that we really had uh, radios based on tubes working well. By 1927, the biggest stock ever, and I, uh, we talk about big tech stocks now, they're all pikers. There was a stock. It was the biggest stock ever as a percentage of the market. How many people know that company's name? Back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The gold report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFM. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. As we return and we fade out the music, uh... In uh, the 1920s, we think about big tech today. There were only a couple of big tech companies back then, but the biggest one of them all was RCA. And Motorola was the second one because they made the power supply uh, that could plug in the wall for the RCA radio. And, uh, yeah, it was the biggest thing that anybody had ever seen. And, of course, uh, a uh, magnitude uh, change in technology uh, is almost always accompanied with a magnitude order in change of money. But uh, that was the big one of the time back then. Okay. Okay. Question about KTOS. 
which uh, what do I have here? Let's go ahead and pull that up and take a look. Uh, okay. Why do I remember that say uh, that symbol? Uh, maybe I'll know. Krakos Defense Security Solutions. Uh, would I consider it a rejection of lower price? Uh, yes. But again, a lot of these stocks have been coming down. Everybody, if you're all thinking that we're going to get an instant V bottom, I think you're fooling yourself. Uh, every move higher is going to be resisted. Uh, a lot of these stocks, especially uh, poorly capitalized stocks, uh, are probably going to have more of a U bottom in the next week. I don't think you should expect a lot of them. But almost all of them, uh, probably the, the big move uh, up later next week is going to be a couple of days. Maybe you go above the three by three. You pull back it again with light volume. And then you go higher. Again, this is a bear market. Uh, anything that really moves, uh, they're going to shoot it, uh, just assuming that it's going to go lower. And uh, once uh, short interest is built up on it, if it's uh, not going lower, it's probably going a little uh, fairly strongly higher as the shorts have to get out of it. Remember, as we get into late in the month, not just into options expiration on the 20th for the monthly, uh, we're going to have a lot. We're probably going to have the biggest decline in volume, I suspect, the last week going into that three-day weekend. So, uh, yeah, a lot of these things, have they ma making a bottom is not the same as going higher. But I do think that just overall, we have so many people piled into some of these big ETFs uh, that we're going to see the highly capitalized stocks that have huge amounts of cash that can buy back their own shares, uh, kind of feed the shorts that have stayed too long to the party a little bit of a painful beating. I think that's probably the nicest way that I can say it, but we shall see. Anyway, uh, Krakos Defense Security Solutions. Uh, is there a bottom? Yes. Would I be buying it? No. I want a lot of proof out here on individual ETFs, uh, I mean individual stocks uh, and sectors before I go to the sectors. Uh, to, uh, uh, which do you prefer, small cap or small cap growth or no small cap? Well, uh, <laughs> Uh, I, I, like I said, I think this is all about who's going to run and where they're going to run. Are you going to run to stocks that need lots of cash like biotech? Are you going to run to stocks that don't need any cash that sales are probably going to be fine? And if you're on Wall Street, it's not what's going to do best. It's what everybody else thinks is going to do best as, uh, God, what's the guy's name? I'll think about it in a second. He had uh, the thing he called the uh, uh, beauty contest. Uh, I'll think of his name here in a minute. And that is, uh, as traders, you're not trying to get the best stock. You're trying to get the stock that everybody else thinks is going to be the best. Because uh, to go higher, they need to buy it, not you. You buying it probably doesn't do much of anything. Uh, but uh, you don't have to pick the, the prettiest in the uh, in the contest, you have to pick what everybody else thinks is the prettiest in the contest. And uh, my guess is, uh, what's his name? I'll think about it in a little bit. He also said, uh, when I change, uh, when the facts change, I change my mind. What do you do, sir? Uh, da, 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 can't think of it at the moment. Uh, eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Okay, that's the first one. Let's go on to other ones. Goldman Sachs. Um, they've got problems of their own. Uh, most of it uh, was, uh, I think they flushed uh, $6 billion down the toilet in Russia. And not a lot of discussion about that. I think maybe they wrote it off. You do have at least uh, the first signs of some lows out here. Um, you do have a little bit lighter volume on this last leg from April 21st. You do have lighter volume compared to the retest on April 7th. Um, you really need to close above 324.32. So you got a long ways for this thing to prove itself. Uh, but you had a high volume low. 
it got tested on lighter volume. It still closed lower than that lighter volume 308. Uh, you're trading out at what, 305. First sign would be a close above 308. Then you need to get above 324. Um, you know, bigger trading range could be 330, 335-ish. It's probably where real resistance comes in on the Goldman Sachs. I think I – do I still have that? I'll look for it in the next break. But uh, there was a guy that made a cartoon about the Goldman Sachs. Maybe I can find it if I still have it. Uh, okay, Richard says, great call, and welcome back. Uh, now, for a few weeks, I answered that. Um, uh, yeah, I answered that one already, and we have that one. Okay, uh, let's go on to some of the stocks that uh, not everybody's talking about. Uh, we had... Um, kind of a bigger low in 3D systems. Earnings out, uh, gap down mostly just, I think, because people like gapping down stocks and beating on these things, but it's done nothing but go higher pretty much since the open out here. Uh, no sign yet that you should buy it, but, uh, you know, it consolidates around 10 bucks. I think it could do well. Another one in this 3D space is direct metal. Uh, this one, uh, kind of the end of the world. That was always a flaky stock uh, pushed by uh, a lot of the Robin Hooders. Uh, never really understood why they thought the thing was so great. Uh, it seemed flaky at the beginning for me. I never bought it. Uh, but a lot of stocks uh, in the end of the bull market uh, were trading that way. Uh, let's take a look at the Wall Street Darling, which is SSYS. Uh, which uh, did have a little sympathy uh, pains out here today, uh, but uh, it could be worse. Again, a lot of these stocks that need cash, um, I'm going to say a U bottom is kind of your best outcome. Uh, could even go lower. Again, we'll, we'll make a big distinction between stocks that have lots of cash, lots of income, and those that don't. Um, I think the index is going to crawl up on the backs of big tech and uh, companies with lots of cash. Uh, you're probably not going to see a lot in these uh, stocks until they do some work and get some consolidation out of the way. Then maybe you're going to get them kind of at the very tail end right before the market tops. Yet again, probably somewhere around the end of this month. We'll Are back. you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors.
Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. As we turn, question about how people have been shorting CELH, which I haven't looked at. Uh, and the big problem I see on this one is that you just had too much volume today. So, again, a lot of these stocks that aren't big names or have uh, $100 billion sitting in some bank account somewhere uh, or that are not larger than the uh, – uh, any uh, gross domestic product under uh, the top five countries in the world. Um, they don't have to worry, a lot to worry about. This actually doesn't look too bad. What you really dislike, though, is the volume the last few days. High volume lows are not lows unless they get tested. So can you get a bounce? Yes. Will it get retested? Yes. What do you want? You want this thing to bounce a little bit, come back down and test the low on about 400,000 shares. And you can certainly get that and, and get the low. It's just, there's no way of saying it's in yet other than it didn't close below the previous low. It's probably gonna have more volume uh, than the big low back here on January 28th that had 1.6 uh, million shares. Uh, as far as daily shorting, it is in the 20% range every day. Uh, going back uh, almost two weeks, and even then, but it's been yeah you twenty know, percent every day. Uh, the big day was on the fourteenth of April. Let's go back and look and see what went on that day, fourteenth of April. I don't know what was going on that day, but certainly or the eighteenth. That was the fourteenth. What went on out here? Someone shorted the living daylights out of this thing right in here. And it went sideways for another 10 days and then gave it up. But uh, heh, what can you say? Doesn't look as bad as one would think. Uh, at the same time, uh, there's a difference between making low and going higher. I think there's better fish in the sea. Again, if they everybody hadn't heard about it and they don't have a load of cash... Uh, and I mean by load, I mean billions. Uh, my guess is that they're probably going to underperform the rest. Let's take a look at some of the others out here. Uh, MSFT. Doesn't matter how many shares are short right now. You need other people to pick it up. Microsoft uh, does look like it's put in a low. Uh, does look like maybe that low is going to be on lighter volume. Um, the, the big uh, number out here for a while has been... Uh, the February 24th low, that was 271.52 on Microsoft. Uh, you got into that with uh, t -t -t 46 million shares and bounced on earnings. You pulled back here. Uh, is that earnings? Yeah, it was earnings. Uh, you pulled back. You did break it one more time. You didn't increase the volume. You did t match the volume of March 8th but you didn't get to the 57 million shares. So you're back in and closing back in today. And again, 25 million shares. So um, it's going to look like you had a pretty good thrust down today. The volume didn't come in. We're not closed. The day isn't over, Curly. But uh, it certainly does look like you've got something there. Now, on the long term, you went up on about the same energy you went down. 
All that tells you is that at best, you're in a trading range. So I'm not saying that anything's out there. Resistance pretty much comes in at about, if you can get through 277, you're really probably talking about 290. And I think this thing's probably in that kind of trading range now. Uh, Apple, also out there. Uh, okay. Earnings tonight. Okay. Uh, that was on uh, Celsius. I don't see a whole lot out there. A lot of shorts, but that'd be it. Um, okay. Let's go through the rest here and see what else we have. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Let me get that. Put that there. Let's go back. Okay. So we looked at Microsoft. Uh, let's take a quick look at NVIDIA. Um, I have a feeling a lot of people uh, went nuts yesterday uh, after the bell. I don't know what was going on. Uh, but there were all kinds of prints at $230 uh, for NVIDIA going through. They cleaned it up. I don't think anything actually went through on that. But uh, there's a big gap there at 230 I thought it was hysterical why it was going on. Um, I saw some, uh, I think it was, eh, I can't remember what it was on. Uh, it was on one of the boards, stock boards or something, where everybody was freaking out. Uh, they were dubious or uh, spurious spurious better word for it uh ticks at 230 but uh, i thought it was kind of hysterical didn't do much uh did try to go lower today i would have liked to seen a little lighter volume if you want to bounce uh but again a lot of these stocks have been hammered um 206 is probably resistance which is still an awful good uh trade on this um my guess is you're going to get up to about two yeah probably 203 that's where real uh, resistance comes in, about 206, uh, probably uh, a brick wall, at least in the short term. But you can get back above 200 before uh, the market turns back lower. Uh, let's take a look at some others. Uh, AMD. Okay. Two, 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 two. Ah, someone says, uh, please tell them you're short, not long. If you are uh, long, sell now, please. Well, no. <laughs> no, thank you. I am long and proud of it. I'm using options, so my, uh, my uh, downside is limited. Uh, but, uh, yeah. I think we've got a bounce for a while. I still believe it's a bear market. Uh, I do believe that you're, if you're going to be committed uh, to the bear side of it, that uh, maybe you should go on vacation, take some aspirin, and wait until the market goes up where it's, uh, the risk reward is better uh, to be short than long. So uh, I will kindly disagree with you and uh, no. I won't uh, take my bounce money now. There's a lot more to it, and I've got all the signs out there. Um, nobody has a crystal ball. I do have a crystal brain, though. My brain sees lots of things. Uh, no crystal ball, but a crystal brain, and my crystal brain says that uh, your email should be discarded I think I have a 70 or 80 percent chance of being successful in my trade. Uh, but I am not going to go to the grave with it. I know that there are going to be significant uh, upsides in bear markets. And uh, a lot of times, they pick you a lot of cash. We'll be back in a minute.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. With market volatility roaring back in April, Larry Pesavento has just announced a five-hour live trading webinar coming up on May 17th. Larry Pesavento is a 56-year trading veteran and has mastered his trading skills through many different market fluctuations. Join Larry on May 17th as he hosts a live five-hour trading webinar from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Eastern Time, giving you insight into how he analyzes the market and decides his plays. Larry will delve deep into the ABCD trading pattern, explaining how to structure your trading day, the times most likely to generate signals, which signals to ignore, and how to use the pattern to mitigate risk. In this all-day five-hour live trading webinar, take a seat by Larry's side as he trades the market markets real time, including the Dow and S&P 500 E-mini, crude oil, natural gas, gold, treasury bonds, wheat and soybeans, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar yen, and more. If you've ever wanted to get inside the mind of a market master, you cannot miss this live trading webinar. To sign up today, just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. We uh, come back. Uh, didn't really talk too much about AMD, but uh, what you have here, uh, let's get in a little closer chart out here. Uh, we're retesting the previous low. You came down with far too much volume yesterday. Um, you got a little bounce out of here today. Yesterday was probably then, in the words of Wyckoff, a selling climax. That doesn't mean a low. You went into a low of uh, 83 million uh, share, uh, yeah, 83 million shares from April 27th with 145. You didn't break it. You did bounce out here, uh, but again, let's make a distinction about stocks that have to do a lot of work before they go back higher, and stocks that have tons of cash on the side don't have a lot of uh, problems uh, with uh, imperial entanglements, i.e., uh, to the Chinese invading their country. And uh, eh, what else can you say about it? I think there's a lot more uh, to go along with uh, NVIDIA and AMD. We just don't have that much. Another one was uh, JD. Was that it? Uh, which looked a little bit better out here. You've got uh, the problem, though, again, you had 22 million shares yesterday. Um, you had uh, 10 million shares back on April 21st. You did gap up on 60 million. That was back on uh, March 17th. So you probably have some level of support. 
but I'm not getting along those stocks. I want stocks that actually, if I'm going to play individual equities, I want stocks that tested previous lows and lighter volume. Uh, okay, someone bought Snap. We'll take a quick look at that, Mr. Uh, uh, Zach. Um, yeah, again, a lot of these stocks have broken through uh, support, gaps, and everything else. Um, I do kind of like the lighter volume out here. I'm going to say there are better stocks probably out there that make better signals. So we'll talk about those tomorrow. Be there or be square. Sell when you can, not when you have to. We'll see you tomorrow. Same bat channel, same bat time. Building wealth trading in the stock market seems impossible to most.